Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, today we are officially June 18th, and it's today that a lot of uh, Snapdragon and ARM processor PCs are going to market. So this is the first wave of 24H2 for ARM, which is a different type of uh, architecture, uh, which promises power promises speed, promises to be running x64 apps like, you know, as good as most PCs on Intel and AMD. Uh, could this be a game changer? Now that's the question. Uh, maybe the question I would like to ask everybody that watches my videos. What do you think this um, new series of ARM PCs? Do you think they're going to actually you know surpass Intel AMD do you think it's a new era of computing um, this is going to be interesting to see also the tests the first real world tests of all of these PCs running with that processor seeing if it really truly is top of the line real powerful and um, we're going to see what uh, what comes next so, of course, that's also the first wave of release of Windows 11 24H2 that is actually written for ARM processors and uh, us Intel and AMD guys and girls will have to wait until the uh, fall for the uh, 24H2 that we'll get unless you're on an insider ring. Um, this is an in interesting. It's uh, first... Uh, two separate launches of the same system for two different systems, two different hardware type machines. Um, this is definitely going to be interesting to watch. And will it be something that changes the direction of Windows? Will now Windows be whatever you buy is going to be fun? You had to be careful before because if you bought a uh, PC that was, you know, ARM, you often had an inferior powerful PC because the ARM processors weren't that powerful. It worked, but it didn't work that great. It didn't work that fast. And now you're promising ARM P PCs that not only are powerful, but can even play games. Um, and of course, their onboard NPU is going to help with the AI stuff. So this is interesting. We're going to see what happens next. But um, definitely, we're entering a new era of computing for Windows, that's for sure. Um, you know, they're probably going to try to compete a little bit with Apple's M series of processors, which are also ARM processors, but made by Apple themselves. Uh, the M1, M2, and M3 chips. And so, uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll see how uh, well they sell also. Will those actually be as popular as regular Intel AMD? Uh, anyone's guess. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.